I've felt a bit stupid lately. I've been feeling rather lethargic. It's been a long time since I've played Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's been at least two years and I totally forgot how the game even works. So I figured this is a great time to return to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader. Figure out if I'm getting stupider or not because why would I continue without saving? And where's the music? I was playing the game on my Wii U and I didn't have any of the save data or the Miis that I have on my Wii. So I've switched to my Wii. So hopefully this can help me remember what the hell is going on. So I'm going to do Homeroom. And there we go. Now I have all my Miis from my original Wii because I want to use Duty Dude. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Are you smarter than a piece of paper? Yeah, I remember this. There were two, two versions in Epic Dancing. Is this Jeff Foxworthy or what's the guy's name? Hi, Jeff yep, that's Jeff Foxworthy. Duty Dude is intently listening to Jeff. Oh, he's lost focus. The music's too loud, Jeff. I can barely hear you. I need to get all 10 questions right and the bonus question right. I get $250,000. We have Aaron. Aaron. David. And Clifton. What a diverse group the game has given me. Oh, brother. I don't know who to pick. Ah, oh, man. So they each picked an icon. Aaron is a flower. David is a basketball. Clifton is a pencil. That must mean he's the smartest. Oh, man. Aaron was really depressed I didn't pick her. Oh, this is a fourth grade question. Shit. What does a barometer measure? Your classmate is now locked in. My classmate is Now's locked in. I believe it measures air pressure. <laughs> Look at the pencil. The pencil is right where... It, never mind. We got it, though. I had a good feeling about that one. Cultural studies. I'm pretty uncultured, so this one might be hard. Oh, and it's fifth grade. Shit. True or false? Tiki and Wahi Niahai were gods of China. I don't know. That seems more like gods of Hawaii names. I think it's false. We're you locked in. I knew it. <laughs> kind of. In football, how many points are scored if a ball is kicked between the goalposts after a touchdown? Yeah, I like these kind of questions. That's Thank you, game. You oh, well, he didn't help me at all. Oh, we get to pick them all at the end, so it doesn't even matter? God damn it. I don't trust David at all. I'm going with Aaron. She's probably good at measurements. Bill and Harry measure the height of a horse using their hands. Harry thinks it's 15 hands high, and Bill insists the horse is only 13 hands high. Harry said that's because Bill has larger hands than his. Is Harry right? I think that's true, right? I don't know. It seems like a silly question. It would make sense that Bill's hands are larger. Incredible. Pop quiz. Word wrangler. What kind of pop quiz is this? S. What am I doing? What a pop. What was that? You didn't tell me anything that I was doing. Let's do vocabulary. This is the hardest answer. I figured out that they're in order from fifth grade to first grade. Which of the following words means cheerful? Sapient. I know it's not sent sentient. Sib sibilant. Sanguine. I'm peeking at my I classmates. We just did what to a Let's coochie? Just sneak a peek here at your classmate's answer. We have peaked. Sanguine. I'm gonna go sibilant because she can save me. If she's right. I don't know what took you so long to come up with that answer, but I do know that it's wrong. <laughs> oh, you, you troll! You I thought I was gonna be right. Word, thanks to the fifth graders, you've still got a chance. Yes, exactly. I use my save. You can always count on fifth graders to come through in a pinch. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We're not giving her any of our money, though. <laughs> Let's pick the subject. 
Uh, let's go with music. Who wrote the magic flute? <laughs> we have Mozart, Beethoven, Handel, and Hayden. Oh no, I don't know this one either. How about Beethoven? No, I think this is more... I think Mozart is more of a magical fluter. Yeah, I, I had a hunch. Which style of painting is usually associated with the use of geometric shapes? Abstract. Definitely abstract. Easy. We're smarter than David, that's for sure, but that's no surprise. Right after these messages. No, wait, I'm just kidding. No, he got me. <laughs> you just won $2,500. <laughs> Why did that kind of sound like me? We're gonna have only the easiest ones left, which should mean we're guaranteed to win. True or false, the Northeast craggy coast was shaped by the glaciers. Second grade US geography. I would say this, I mean, that sounds right. Glaciers formed pretty much everything. You've won yourself $1,000. Insanity. Why is a kid jumping? He shouldn't be excited. I think these kids think I'm gonna give them some of my winnings, and I am absolutely not. Nine divided by three is three. Wow. Let's pick a subject. Who knows what we're gonna get for that one? Life sciences, the penis. Animals that migrate when their warm, food-rich environment gets cold and loses most of its food resources are often found in what environment? Your classmate is locked This is in. first grade? Forest. It's got to be forest. Forest. Never mind. That, that's somewhat. Grassland could be too, but. You got that one right. No. Oh. <laughs> Jeff, you can't be giving me suspense like this. If you wanted to heal people, what job would you choose? <laughs> Mechanic, dog catcher, lawyer, or doctor? I'm gonna go on a limb. It's doctor. How did I manage to leave that question as last? That question was so stupidly easy. Even com even compared to the other $500 question. It all comes down to this. I can 10 times my money. I wanna go for it. Ooh, uh oh. No suspense or drama or anything. We just go right into it. Which ironically named Archipelago. Archi wow. There, the utter silence fits this one because this is a doozy, Jeff. Which ironically named Archipelago forms Cape Horn? Ironically named to Cape Horn. Horn. What would be ironic to Cape Horn? Shoe. Shoe butt? Cape Horn. Ironically named to Cape Horn. I don't even know what an archipelago is. I think it's. I think it's pronounced like arpeggio or something. I think there's a better way to say it, but I don't even remember that either. This is so far out there. I have no idea how I'm supposed to get this. Archipelago. Which, which ironically named archipelago forms Cape Horn? I don't even know what an archipelago is. I know there's, it's not pronounced like that, but I can't even think of what, how it's even said. I can't remember the last time I've ever talked about an archipelago before. Can I at least ask Google what an archi archipel archi archipelago? What is an archipelago? A group of islands. I'm just gonna lock in my answer. <laughs> All right, your Very well said, duty dude. <laughs> I know I asked the question a long time ago, but your answer still isn't right. Oh, this is a shocker. <laughs> there goes my winnings. We've reached the end of the line, my friend. You just flunked out of school. 
Okay, let's see the correct answer. <laughs> what was it? Oh yeah. How uh, right, how is that I ironic? Tierra de Fuego. Words, I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Bye everybody. We'll see you again next time. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that they didn't even put the effort to make a voice line for I am not smarter than a fifth grader for the character your character to say and instead of like duty dude said I'm I'm a something with a coochie or a poochie. Giving this another go. There is no other good game modes on this whole game. Now the I know how to play. Is to pick someone smarter than you to be your classmate. So any of these kids ought to do fine. I like how he says that. Like he already knows I'm stupid. How many eighth notes equals a half note? Oh my goodness, I was in band. I played the trombone. Your classmate is now locked in. In math, I would think that four eighth notes makes a half note. But is that right in band terms? Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna peek. I want a banya in the poochie. Peek is used for. Well, I'm gonna trust her. She's, she seems knowledgeable in this topic. My gut is telling me Wrestling isn't I I just can't see people now throwing down lock in your answer in wrestling in a pentathlon, but I can see them poking each other in fencing. I'm going wrestling, Jeff. You won five I had a feeling. Alright, this is where you gotta come through for me, Clifton. True or false? Our most common word roots or a f oh brother. Our most common word roots or affixes like contra for contradict come from Latin or Greek words. I that yeah, I, I I actually think that's true. That question I thought was gonna be a doozy with how it started, but it really wasn't that big of a doozy. You got that one right. Is the actual show's questions usually this easy and people don't always win? There are two great orders of dinosaurs bird hipped. Oh wait, no, there are two great orders of dinosaurs, bird-hipped and lizard-hipped, which is also called what? lizard hip. It has to be reptitia. Reptile. Never heard that word before in my life, but... No, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, what?! Hang in there now. You've still All got right, Clifton. Save, so if your class Come on, right, Clifton. You'll still be moving on. Let's see. Never underestimate the power of fifth graders. Wow. Yeah. Super geniuses. Looks like you'll be sticking around after all. Yeah, I'm excited Woo! to be. <laughs> I'm excited to be here. What is the Spanish word for 18? Diecisiete. No, dieciocho. I like that. Now. I like that. You won five hundred dollars. Here we go. We're to the final question again. But this time I'd like to get two hundred and fifty thousand instead of twenty five thousand or zero. What southern state that borders Indiana? Southern state that borders Indiana. That's not very south. Has the motto, united we stand, divided we fall. What southern state? It'd have to be Kentucky. I don't understand who considers Kentucky a southern state. Even back in the day, weren't they part of the north? Unless it's Tennessee. No, Tennessee is some shit about uh, volunteering or whatever. It's got to be Kentucky. I don't even think... Tennessee has a border with Indiana. I read this right, right? It really is Tennessee? No. Kentucky. It really is Indiana. Indiana, yeah, I mean... I don't know what else it could be. My booty butter sheet. 
<laughs> wow, this is crazy. This is absolute hysteria right now. I just won two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Unreal, really. <laughs> We're elated. Congratulations, you are smarter than a fifth grader. I am smarter than a fifth grader. We'll see you next time on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Bye bye, everybody. <laughs> Back to the dancing. Random dancing. Well, I am losing my mind, I feel like, but I still have the intelligence of a fifth grader. But I got an A minus. I didn't use my copy. That's enough of this. That was a fun time playing this again, but uh, that's enough. <laughs>